Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Out of Controllers. Controllers. All right, we're back in the chicken fight. The, the chicken fight. Yes. I like that that's what we're dubbing it. I don't know. He's a very big <sighs> He's chicken. He's blowing me into the... And now we have to cut his little heady bits. His head giblets. His head giblets. That's I a good word for it. What's his, what are they called? Well, how I do I remember. avoid the spikes? Should I stand here? Or these that's ones? pretty all right. That would be count who the wall spikes, but he's just going to try and peck you again. Oh, now, now he's, he's taking out. off to try and blow you. That's inappropriate. I'm quite young. He's trying to blow you away with wind. How's that? That works. All right, good. Probably need to be uh, on this, on the, on this, and sort of near the middle for him to attack you with his beak. Probably, because the lights will be like, likely. "Oh, I don't want to put my head in those spikes," and it'll be like, "Well, it would make this fight much faster." It really than would. would. Why is he so strong at blowing? Well, he's got very big wings. Here we go. No, Our, no. Well, okay then. I guess he's just being a real douche. He really is. Just an absolute cad. Can you please peck me? Here we go. And you've won! You've Only beaten took the bird! Half my health. No, he's just doing a jig. He's not dead. He's... Oh, he's flying up. He's losing a lot of feathers for not being dead. The lights are all shining on him. Oh, he is magnificent. I would shine oh, lights upon him oh. too. He just exploded. He exploded. Boom goes the chicken. That was a very dramatic it was, explosion. But now you'll get a heart. Boom goes the chicken. Kaboom, kaboom. Cluck, cluck. Goodness. The, the chicken go bang. I don't cluck, cluck. I don't think you understand what noises animals cluck, make. Cluck, cluck. Kaboom goes the chicken, everyone. <laughs> you've heard it here from Grandma, so you know it's true. Well, now that you've said it, it most probably is true. But look, now we can finally go into this large ship at the top. Is it going to take off? Is it a spaceship? No, it's a regular boat ship. A, a regular boat? Why is it up top then? Well, it got stuck somehow. It got, it got stuck somehow. It's how it, it looks like. It's it like, like that, that moment in Gallivant where they got their boat stuck on the side of a cliff. Exactly. And they were the pirates of the sea, but not the actual sea. Mm-hmm. He has a nice jacket. I want it. It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all up, your your way all up, all the way up here. I did do a lot of rolling and wriggling. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf. Now he's not bad looking. No. And I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. Maybe you should rename it. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? I did, yes. I made note of that. Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. It means that the sword is evil. Foolish child. Well, that sword is indeed the blade of evil Spain. At the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it was also a sort of key. A most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic and my magic intact. Ah, now I've released you. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. The, honestly, the bird wasn't that hard to beat. I don't know why the boat wanted me to take it out. Is the boat evil? I think the boat's evil. Oh dear. Oh. Well. He just sucker punched you in the face. And now it. he has a sword. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. But it's the master sword. I have to I have to upgrade it. That's what I said. Go back to the world below and tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. It pa its power is gone, and its edges are dull. I have to upgrade the sword. What did I say? You did. You were right. I just didn't want to spoil it for you. He's picking on a child. He is. But now another child's going to kick him in the face. <laughs> Jerkoff, get up! Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. God. 
Huh? Oh, you want to Ugh, that? stop! Let let me go! You pathetic little sea rat. His voice was much darker a minute, you deeper a minute ago. There we go. Rat. <gasps> it's a pretty pendant. <laughs> <laughs> exclamation mark! Question mark! Exclamation mark! Otherwise known as. <laughs> My triforce of power is resonating. What? Ha! At long last, I have found oh. you. Princess Zelda. The pirate was Zelda all along and no one told me? Yes, Grandma. Who would have guessed this pirate that I met two minutes ago? Maggie. Well, Maggie actually did guess, yes. Maggie knew. Maggie yeah, was Maggie told. Knew. What? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Oh, sorry. I dropped the ball on that. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me. If you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? Or the Triforce, as it might be known. Perhaps. What? Just... Oh, birds. Swoop. Birds. Postman. Yo! <laughs> Yoink! It's an excellent cover. Postmen are actually deadly assassins. Oh, the dragon. Yep. Maggie told me he's a chubby dragon. He's very chubby, yes. It's odd how he's cut aloft. It's true. Oh. All right, let's just destroy this boat. Mm-hmm. Roast him. Ganondorf's been roasted. Oh. <laughs> I'm funny. Did you know? Did Maggie tell you I'm funny? I, they did not. Oh. Sad, like, interestingly enough. They left that out for some reason. Can't oh. imagine why. That's a shame. Oh, hey, we're back at the tower. Oh, God. Why are we here? Well, he's sad because she's asleep. It's all right, Jerkoff. She has merely lost consciousness. Your sister escaped the Forsaken Fortress of the Pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. That was the annoying prince that Maggie might have mentioned. Right, yes, I, I know. I do recall that. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. Some words <laughs> that I can't read. I am aware of this. Uh, yes, I have to hit the button. Yes. Yet I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. He's probably saying something about how we need to kill Ganon or something. Probably. And that way he goes. See ya! Goodbye, Dragon Man! It was nice to meet you. Oh, he's back? Vindaloo? Is that his name? Valu. A delicious meal? Valu. <laughs> chicken Vin Chicken Valu. <laughs> That's what he is. Jerkoff, I will explain things later. Now he must return to the world beneath the sea. Something about the sword, no doubt? Yep. This ineffectual sword? A little bit. <clears throat> It is a little bit ineffectual. It just didn't work at all. That's what ineffectual means, yeah, yes. Yeah, but just a little bit. It cuts other things pretty fine. So we need to make her Zelda. She needs to go through a, a, a Princess Diaries-esque transformation. Jerkoff, you're all right? What is this place? Hey, and Ganondorf, what happened to him? I Jer mean, it happens all the time. Jerkoff, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is telling me this? Oh, good. He has the same question. No, you're... That's the young girl. Oh, just who are you? Jerkoff and I are the only ones who can speak through the stone. I thought it was the boat, but it's not the boat. No. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is... Oh, that's, that's the stone. Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Jerkoff to see me at once. Hmm. Well, don't you just sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Jerkoff, what are you waiting for? You are the stone. You're supposed to show me how you got where that voice is. Oh, I probably have to move the boxes again. Where's the... No, it's just open damn now. Damn door. There it is. It's just open. Well, it closed. Did it? At one point. 
Oh, that's true. It lowered. That's what happened. Oh. No, it cl- yes, it closed because it didn't want me fighting. It didn't want me running from the fight. Oh. But now it's open, I guess. Yes. I it's hope she open. followed me. I didn't know. Yeah, she, yeah, she did. All right. It's a- Santa! Santa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, you old so-and-so grandpa. How are you? Uh, are you him? Are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission to ask me? Fun fact, uh, Santa is a grumpa, ne- which is why we don't get along. Oh, well, next time in Out of Controllers, we'll see who it was. Oh, fine. Well, it seems appropriate to me. Oh, I suppose it has been ten-ish minutes. About. All right. Thank all of you for watching, my dear Grum children. And for those of you who are not my Grum children, thank you for watching as well. All of you, all of you, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, and share. Uh, yeah. If you have enjoyed this. Or if you know people who you think will. That'd be really cool. Thank you. I thank you so much for watching, my darlings. Remember, Grandma loves you. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye.